Dwayne Stuck Smith, the Trump star. Can you take us through the emotions of that fourth quarter when they were pouring 44 points on you? My emotions? And I, you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to hear it. It, it. We just didn't play smart. Um, you know, they're a very veteran team. They're going to take advantage of the mistakes that you make. And we wrote a book on the mistakes we made in the fourth quarter. And we got. And we've been a better team in the fourth quarter. They flipped it on us tonight. Third quarter, we. We kind of set the tone in the fourth quarter. They reversed it, and we've, we've got to change that. Um, intelligence, and that's why it's hard to win in this league without veteran players. And uh, they, they use their veteran experience to get back into the game. And um, uh, you saw it. They scored 44 points in the, in the fourth. And uh, every mistake that you could think about, we made in the fourth quarter. Ryan Wolf, that Toronto Sun. Um, how do you balance out with this young group, though, getting on them for almost letting it go away with all the good things they did? And what did you think of what was going right when you built that huge? We league? did a lot of good things up to that point, up to the fourth quarter. Uh, it, it, like you said, it's a balancing act, but still, you know, um, we got to learn. And uh, tonight was was a, a learning experience in a playoff atmosphere, and that's it's a hard place to learn. Dwayne, over here. Bruce Arthur, Toronto Star. At this point, what can you say about what Kyle Lowry means to this team? Uh, you know, he, he's great, Bruce. He did a great job. He led, led us. But uh, this game tonight, we, we've got to learn from it. There's so many learning experiences from tonight's game, handling the lead, uh, withstanding prosperity, embracing pressure. Uh, how about that one? So we, we got we to gotta do that from uh, top to bottom. But Kyle is, you know, 36 points is, is, is huge, was huge for us. Uh, Mike Grange from Sports. Mm -hmm. I mean, as badly as it went down the stretch, the door was open. They couldn't get through it. You held firm. I mean, that's you got to take something. Yeah, we we take that, but again, Michael, we we can't we can't live that way. And I've said that all year. And uh, you know, our history has been, um, you know, been pretty good in the fourth quarter. But for night, for whatever reason, they flipped the switch and uh, and flipped the script. And we played well in the third quarter, which was I was. I was concerned about that going in, um, and we've been solid in the fourth quarter, and tonight it disappeared. <clears throat> Charlotte, the score. Coach, you fouled up three with the ball in their hands. Is that something that you guys knew if the situation came to that you were going to do, or is that something that was maybe a discussion or debate on the bench between the coaches? That's been a philosophy all year. Maybe did you notice the crowd? It seemed great, great crowd. I mean, that's that was what was disappointing. Um, you know, we we squandered a 23, 26 point lead. Um, you know, and it, and it was started on the defensive end. Our attention to detail being where we're supposed to be, falling asleep, fouling three point shooters. Uh, again, we could wrote a book on uh, on every mistake in the fourth quarter. But the crowd was great, uh, and uh, again, I've been around this game a long time. In every hostile arena back in Sacramento with the cowbells in Portland uh, where they, the, the noise is, you know, unbelievable. And even in Key Arena in Seattle, but in Utah, back with the motorcycle days. But uh, it doesn't t come close to our arena. And I, I, again, my hat is off to our fans. Uh, they're number one. Coach, uh, James Jia with Xinhua. Uh, with six, six, five, yeah. six point five seconds left in the game, uh, with no timeouts for Brooklyn. Was the plan always to foul? That's been a, uh, we, we work around that philosophy all, all year. That's, you know, it's nothing new for us. The time, the time may change according to whether they have timeouts or not, but um, I think it's an, um, a solid philosophy. But you got to get the rebound. That's another, another uh, mistake. Dwayne, Jeff Zogit, USA Today. Dwayne. How, how do guys learn from this, and how can you help them learn from this, and, and when do you know that they actually learn? When they respond to it, when they don't make the same mistakes over and over again. And again, we haven't made this many mental mistakes. Some of We made mistakes, but uh, not as many uh, going down the stretch, Je uh, Jeff. And, and that's, that's something we've got to learn from. And again, how do you know? You know, it's, you know, we're here. We're excited about being in the playoffs somewhere we haven't been before. Young team, expected mistakes. But again, uh, we got to crack the whip and, and learn from them. And this is a hell of a time to, to start learning, you know, and going to game six of the playoffs.
uh, coach Steve Brotherston Pro B Ball Report over here. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, the bar line 13 times. He's been averaging now over 12 times a game. How is he getting there? Did you expect he could do this in the playoffs? Uh, he's done a heck of a job all year long of attacking the rim, attacking the pressure, um, um, you know, getting to the paint. I think that's the most important thing, creating, being strong with the ball. He's done that. Um, so he, he's grown this year from that. You know, someone asked about growing. How do you know they're growing? That's a result of him growing up uh, in that situation against pressure, against physicality, um, and, and getting to the free throw line. Dwayne Mitch Lawrence, Daily News. As you know, toughest game to win this series is a closeout game. Do you think your team can do it? Do you think they've seen enough in this series and gotten enough under their belts to where they can close them out now? Well, you know, Mitch, we've, we've gotten better each game. Um, you know, again, I'm upset with them, but they're, they're us, they're, they're our players, so, but we've got to learn. And close out, you know, you, I'm not going to sit here and make a prediction or anything like that on a close out game. Um, it's two game series, and we've got one game at home, one game on the road. So, uh, but we've got to get better defensively than we were tonight. Coach, they made their run in the fourth quarter, but did you sense the defensive slippage in the third quarter, even though you guys were making baskets? Right. To Stem their tie. There was we got we we got caught up in the on the offensive end, and um, we scored. You know, and thought it was going to be tit for tat. They come down. We shoot. They shoot a three, and you know we're getting twos, and we foul in three point shooters. So, again, we opened the floodgate with with our lack of attention to detail, and we we hadn't done that the entire series. So we got to go back to the drawing board tomorrow and and uh, correct some of those defensive mistakes. Coach Arash Madeni from uh, Sportsnet. In the immediate aftermath of that win, as disappointed as you were, what was the message to the guys after the relief of the victory, but just how it came? We're going to keep it within the house. We're going to keep it within. It wasn't, it, you know, it was, we've got to learn. That was the basic message.